Hey everyone, it's Christina Sullins, fitness professional, motivator, and successful home business owner in health and fitness. Today I want to talk to you about living with IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, and spastic colon, something I get asked about all the time. I've been um, a sufferer for over 20 years. I'm not a doctor, but I've definitely figured out a lot of tips and tricks. And today I want to share with you the trigger foods to stay away from. So I found that a lot of the pain and bloating and discomfort and weight gain that I've struggled with all these years are coming from the foods that I'm eating because my body doesn't digest them like everyone else. So if this is you and you're struggling with consistent bloating and pain and you're holding extra weight or water weight that you can't get rid of and you always have that full feeling in your stomach or even those sharp shooting pains in your stomach that interrupt your life and just don't make you feel good, I highly recommend to just try this. Take a look at these trigger foods that might be aggravating your digestive system. And when you consume these foods, sometimes you feel pain and discomfort right away. Sometimes you feel it a day later, two days later. Sometimes it sits in your system for a week or more. So it really, for me, was education, learning, and process of elimination. So taking these foods completely out of my diet, maybe one at a time, maybe a couple of them at a time, it's up to you. Um, but these are the, the top foods that I have found when I eliminated them from my diet. I felt better. I didn't have any pain. I don't have the bloating. I was able to lose the weight. And overall get my belly flat because for 20 years it wasn't. <laughs> okay, so first of all, one of the websites that I found that really, really helped me and educated me um, about IBS and how to eat and what to stay away from is helpforibs.com. So this is a brochure and I don't even know this woman and I should be thanking her because she has saved my life. But um, basically she gives you a food list of trigger foods, be careful foods, and safe foods. So the trigger foods that she um, shared with me that definitely connected are number one, are you ready? Do you know what the number one trigger is? Dairy. Dairy is the number one trigger food, at least for me. So that includes pretty much cheese, cottage cheese, yogurt, milk. Um, I can't even drink soy milk or almond milk. They all aggravate me. Um, the only one I can drink is rice milk, and that's just me. So number one is dairy. Number two is fried foods. We knew that already though, didn't we? <laughs> Anything that falls under deep fried, take it out. Number three is coffee. Oh, of course. I was a coffee addict and I held it right in my belly for too, for way too long. So um, I know that one's hard, but if you get on Shakeology, I promise you, you'll be able to give coffee up really quick. Number four is artificial sweeteners, and I'm ranking these on my own as far as how much they've aggravated me. I was someone who was addicted to Crystal Light, Splenda, you name it. I used to drink it every day, and I always had like this pit in my stomach. Um, yeah, as soon as I eliminated that, feel better. So sugar, yes, just have regular pure sugar. Just don't eat it in massive amounts. Number five is alcohol, mm, right? You just gotta be careful. Um, you know, beer is just totally out because it's made from wheat. And she doesn't list wheat as a trigger food, but for me, no wheat. Um, so not only alcohol do you have to be completely careful with, but also wheat and anything that is whole grain. I know, right? I'm telling you the complete opposite of what 
um, society is telling you for nutrition, but wheat is a trigger and it's in everything, which is also gluten. So do I eat completely gluten-free? No, I don't. For the most part, I probably do. I don't go out and buy gluten-free foods. I just avoid wheat. Um, and then she doesn't have these listed, but my own additional trigger foods are any baked goods. Mm, dang it, right? Um, nuts. Man, I love nuts. I love almonds and cashews. Out the door. Trail mixes, no more. And for me personally, raw vegetables or even just fruit. A lot of fruit, like just picking up and, and eating an apple or sitting down and eating pineapple or cantaloupe. I just can't digest it. It aggravates my system. Can I put the fruit in a shake and mix it up and drink it? Yes. Or put it, um, have it in addition to uh, carbs? Yes, for me personally. But if I eat it by itself on an empty stomach, no, it doesn't work. Okay, so I hope that helps, and it's definitely enough information for now to get you started. Um, but if you're sick and tired of feeling the way that you're feeling, no matter how much you love those foods, do you want to feel better? If you do, start to eliminate some of them and see how your body feels. And it's really just process of, process of elimination. I'm not on medications at all and I refused to be. So I really wanted to know what was the cause and what was aggravating my stomach instead of masking the symptoms with medicine. That's just me, that's just my own belief. So let me know if this helped you. Check out that website, it definitely helped me. Let me know your questions or what else I can share with you from my own experience that has worked. Good luck to you, cheers.